Hello, these are Acts of Kindness. I haven't recorded in a while. I'll stop the music here. I haven't recorded in a minute. I've been uh, busy with work and with lots of work, well, you know, lots of stress relievement. So I've been playing some personal games um, here and there, back and forth, some Subnautica, RimWorld. And I got back into Eve a little bit. Uh, I've been trying to. Uh, it's hard. Got to get as uh, many fleet hours as possible. I had my Unity up, uh, coming up here. What's going on? What's taking so long? Thought I would show everybody what I've been kind of working on in my spare time. Yeah, I uh, started playing some RimWorld Medieval Times with uh, RimWorld Magic. I like it because it has a bunch of different classes that you can play with. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know if it's recording Unity or not. Looks like it is. Okay. I'll double check, of course. But uh, So this is what I'm kind of working on. Um, I call it Project Dropship. And I just kind of been putting some stuff together. I was going to try to make this little uh, prefab that I uh, got off of the asset store into like an enemy of some sort. I was going to put in some uh, artificial intelligence behavior and kind of turn them into a little enemy or maybe into like a little drone that uh, I could deploy. And this of course is my major project I've kind of been working on in my spare time. But we have the, uh, the big drop ship here. You can see I've kind of been building little pieces into it. It does have the cockpit area up here. Um, I'm probably going to be redoing some things. I've been having some issues with uh, the textures not appearing right, and that's I think it's because it's a complex structure, so I'm going to have to do some UV uh, unwrapping in order to get my textures to appear correctly, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this is going to be a first-person type game where you have the ability to get into like a dropship. Right, so this would be the drop ship. You could come over here, open up the door, get inside, um, and you know, come over to the cockpit, and then you would jump on the steering wheel and be able to pilot this around. Um, I had some other stuff that I was playing with. Let's see if I can just show you what I was talking about. Um, I might need to re-rig the controls. I didn't really get things ready to show off. This is just kind of where I was last steps in my process. You know, I'm just trying to work through different problems that I come across. Um, I have been getting stuff together on a Trello to kind of give myself a roadmap and be able to track my projects and my uh, different versions and things that I, I do throughout the uh, the game. So. I'll post this up on my YouTube and I might put a link um, probably in the Trello. You know, just try to be as organized as possible here. Um, yeah, so this is this is what I've been working on in my spare time. I've got a lot of different stuff kind of going on. All right, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, please comments. It uh, helps me out. I don't put a lot of comments or uh, content out yet, but I would like to keep putting out content if people keep watching. Uh, I really read each comment because there's not many at this point. So, <laughs> But uh, if I get too busy reading comments, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So thank you very much.